When God heard the cries of his people in Egypt and he rescued them from slavery, God led Moses and the people of God out of Egypt and through the Red Sea to freedom in the desert. Out of slavery and into freedom in the desert. Day by day, God showed his people the way to go, leading them deeper and deeper into the desert. He led them with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Like a shepherd leading his sheep, the Lord went before them. giving them guidance and direction with each and every step. Providing everything that they needed along the way. In the desert, God's people were getting to know God and they were learning all about him, his goodness and his love. God was bringing them into relationship with him. And exactly three months after the Israelites had left Egypt, God called them to Mount Sinai. The people camped below the mountain. And then God called Moses, his chosen leader, to come up to the mountain. And there God spoke to him. Say this to my people, God said. I rescued you out of Egypt and brought you to be with me. Now obey me and remember my promises to you that I will make you my treasured possession, my beloved people. And so Moses went down the mountain and spoke God's words. And the people all said, yes, we will obey and remember God's promises. <clears throat> the people were excited, but also a little afraid, for the mountain was a holy place and was covered with fire and darkness and clouds. and they gathered below the mountain. And Moses once again climbed the mountain and again the Lord descended to meet him. Then suddenly the people heard a voice like thunder and a blast of trumpets coming out of the darkness. It was God's voice and it said, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery because of who I am and what I have done for you. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not bow down and worship idols. 
do not misuse the Lord, the name of the Lord your God. The Sabbath day is holy. Take rest. Do all your work in six days. But on the seventh day, it is holy and a blessing from the Lord your God. Honor your parents. Don't kill. Remember that marriage is special. It is between one man and one woman. Don't steal. Don't lie or talk about others behind their backs. And finally, do not be greedy for other people's stuff. God's instructions for his people are called the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are God's way of living that shows the whole world that you truly understand who God is and what he has done for you. Now, because these instructions were so important, God gave Moses two tablets of stone written. And the very finger of God was on them. And they were all the words that he had spoken that day. Hundreds and hundreds of years later, when Jesus was asked what the most important commandment was, he replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. God gives us the Ten Commandments to show us who he is. He is love. He is holy. And he is good. He gives us the Ten Commandments because God wants us to be just like he is, good and loving and holy. God gives us the Ten Commandments because he loves us. 